comes down to you, little girl, you want to sit there and you want to run your mouth about your father. You constantly ran your mouth about me. You constantly told lies left and right. Everything that came out of your mouth was a lie. You denied the fact that you had head lice so bad where you almost suffered blood poisoning. You denied that. I have pictures on my photo bucket that proves that I'm not lying because pictures speak louder than words. There are a lot of things that you've been saying that does not even make any sense. And you sit there and you want to deny, like, you know, when that child gets into a, a chocolate cake and evidence all over their face, but yet still deny eating that chocolate cake. Well, that you are that child that got into that chocolate cake. Now, what I find funny is, you know, these people pretend like they care about children, but yet, you know, they were the same people that were insulting your son, my grandson. And yes, I'm going to call him my grandson because he is my blood. And how is he my blood? Because you're my blood. So I am going to love my grandson. But when it comes down to his mother who neglected him and basically put him in danger by having him in that room full of trash and all of those chemicals and leaving pill bottles open to where he can get into the pills and start biting on them. You see, that's you. You are the mother that put him in that situation. You are the mother that locked him up in the bedroom so you can be in the living room to be in on the internet. Every single thing that came out of your mouth is nothing but lies. And I can prove it. You absolutely don't understand anything. And the, the fact that these haters are sitting there coming at me because I'm trash talking you, I'm like this. I live by the book Matthew chapter 7. And the reason why I live by that is because it's parallel to that old law. Back ages ago, way before the Bible even existed. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Yes. An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And the reason why I live by that is because if you can dish it, you sure as hell can take it. Now, you want to keep on running your mouth, that's fine. But I'm done. Later on, it's Chrissy's turn. And then after that, we're moving on and we're living our life while you're still stuck in the drama.